Hey guys, Benny here from Crypto Catch Up. Today I just wanted to do a video on the Delta portfolio tracking application, which is available on Android and also Apple iPhones. Uh, so you just need to download it from the respective uh, either Android store or of course the iTunes store. Um, this application, like its name suggests, it allows you to track the actual uh, movements of your portfolio or also watch other coins uh, even set alerts for different prices so um, I'll just show you what it looks like here in the Google Play Store um, that is it so you can see now you'll notice there guys it says it's from Opus Labs just make sure you download it from the correct company uh, the worst thing you want to do is download an app which is not actually legitimate uh, and enter in some form of login details or something like that uh, and be scammed. So please be aware of that. They do sometimes slip through the cracks of the Play Protect or Apple's uh, own tracking that they do. All right, so let's jump into the Delta app. So this is what it will look like when you first uh, open the application. So it says your portfolio starts here and you've got the three icons down the bottom, your main portfolio, your coins that you can start a watch list on, which is that I in the middle, and your settings. So the first thing we'll jump into there is your settings. So what it will actually default to here in the default currency, which you can see is the US dollar. Obviously what we wanna do, uh, or for most part, we'll change it to the Australian dollar if you are that way inclined. I personally use it with the US dollar, but we'll leave it at that. Other than that, you have obviously notification preferences and your default landing page. So there you can either select to see your watch list first or your portfolio and some view options and the rest of it is all stuff that we need not be concerned about. Um, actually, what I will just say here, so it does say you can become a Delta Pro. Uh, if I click into it here, it allows you to track multiple portfolios, early access and some other features that they have planned. And you can see the pricing down there below. Um, so that's for most likely advanced users. Uh, but if you do get in early, the price will be fixed at that rate. Uh, it is due to increase later on. All right, the next one we'd like to go to is just the watch list. So that middle icon with the eye down the bottom. So when you open it up, you can see here, it's already got a few of them available. You can select a time period. You can also select where it says highest cap to sort by anything that you may choose. All right, so with those there, what it's doing guys is showing you the global average of that Bitcoin or the Ethereum. Then it has the price movement in green there. So obviously gone up 11% in the last 24 hours. The US price is on the left hand side and the Australian dollar on the right hand side. You can simply add another coin to this list by clicking the plus icon, search for a coin, let's say Ripple. There it is. Click on that and it will be added to the list. Once again, sorted in highest cap, so it's second, and you can see it there. You can click into any of them. Uh, so there's a, a bit of information here. So right down the bottom, the volume, daily volume, and its current market cap. You can change the candle charts here, three month candle, one month candle, etc., and it will then show you in green the respective percentage or uh, increase or decrease there and the Australian dollar change as well, which is quite handy. Um, you can click transactions to add some, but we'll do that in the main section. And like I said earlier, you can set alerts. So if we just click on that in the middle, set an alert, whether it be one off or repeating, select the exchange that you may be using to purchase that on, obviously quite a large list here, the trading pair and the price threshold. So whether you want it to be you know, $3, $2, um, whether that be up or down, it doesn't matter. It will notify you when it gets to that stage. All right, so in the top right hand corner, guys, you have those three dots. If you click on that, it allows you to change the exchange where it's getting the pricing information from. So if you just wanted to get it from CoinSpot, click it, scroll down to CoinSpot, click that, and off you go. 
Obviously, it's also got the trading pair there and the ability to remove it, which if I click, it asks, yes, get rid of that, and we're back to normal. So that's the watch list, guys, nice and easy. Now, let's get into the fun stuff, so tracking your portfolio. So the first thing you most likely will do is add in any fiat currency you've deposited to a particular exchange. So if we click once again on the plus sign, and it says down the bottom there, or add a fiat deposit or a withdrawal. So if we add a fiat deposit, we first select our exchange, Oop. scroll down, let's say we went BTC Markets, because that's an Australian one, and I'll also have a video on that uh, exchange if you'd like to have a look at it. Select the currency, Australian dollar, and let's say I put in a whopping $10,000 on today's date, and you can even lead a little note, you know, first deposit, Ooh, I can't even see what I'm typing. There we go, and we just add that there. So that adds that into our portfolio. So if we go back, you can see there that my portfolio balance is $10,000, and you have the ability to change it from all time or to the last 24 hours. Also guys, if you click just where I'm clicking here, but actually on the value, it will change it from Australian dollars to what that value is in Bitcoin as a whole. Uh, because outside of what we do in Australia, virtually everything is pegged against Bitcoin. All right, so once you've got your, your money into obviously the app, what we now can do is add more coins that you might have used to buy with that particular money. So if we keep going on the trend of uh, what we've bought on BTC markets, so they have Bitcoin available. So I search for Bitcoin. And here you have the information you need to enter. So first we select the exchange, so BTC markets. It pre-fills the trading pair, but also the current price. Now, if for example, you bought something the other day and it's gone up since then, simply tap in there and change the price to what you paid for it at the time. You then also can select whether it was per coin or the price you paid in total. So for example, let's say in here the amount bought, I've only bought you know, 0 0.01 Bitcoin, which is displayed on the screen when you purchase it. I can then select deduct from my AUD holdings, which will reduce that 10,000 amount enter in the trade fee, so I believe BTC Markets is 0.85% here, so you select it whether it's in a dollar value or a percentage value, and you can leave a note if you want. So then down the bottom you'll see there that this transaction is worth $211.95 at the current rate with the uh, transaction fee included, so I'll add that transaction. Nice and simple. So you'll see up the top here, guys, where I'm clicking. So I'm saying I've got an all-time loss of $1.81 because the price has changed. Net cost, 213 Market value, $211 at this point in time. And then you've just got the standard chart information there. If we go back, like I said, we'll click here to change it back to the Australian dollar. So my portfolio obviously is now showing that I'm down that $2 like I spoke about. Um, and you'll see here I have my $9,786 of fiat and I own $211.94 of Bitcoin on that one there. Then we go ahead, we add another one. Let's just say Ripple for now. Buy. You know, it could be from Binance. You select the trading pair. So because I have Bitcoin, I can then select Bitcoin that I've just purchased. And then down here, you'll see, notice again, it says deduct from BTC holdings. So if I've used my fiat, then purchased Bitcoin, I can then deduct it from my Bitcoin holdings because the trading pair that I'm trading against is Bitcoin and Ripple. Obviously, if it was from um, BTC markets again, you'd be trading pair of Ripple to Australian dollar. So let's say here I bought 50 of them as I've typed in. Once again, 
an exchange fee on Binance is 0.1% of the BTC transaction and you've got the price down below. Because this one is a BTC trading pair, that's the price that it's displaying as. So if I add transaction, wonderful. So I'm now up $3.56 uh, based on the price in which I've entered for this Ripple here. So overall, guys, you have a look. Ripple's up 1%. Bitcoin's down 10% over the last um, 24 hours. And I have that value remaining of my Bitcoin. So $2 worth of Bitcoin, 191 in my Ripple. Happy days. So obviously what will happen here, guys, is over time, if we pull down and refresh, it's moved one cent there. Not a big deal. Up in the top left-hand corner, you have your chart. You can click this. And it will show you, obviously, that I've gone up quite considerably this month because I've just entered in my $10,000. But obviously, over time for yourself, guys, this will even out and it will show you a nice trend of how you are going with your portfolio. The next thing I just want to quickly show you guys is obviously if you were to sell something, let's say we're going to sell 25 of our Ripple or half of them because we want to take some profits. We click into Ripple here. We go to our transactions, as you can see transaction so you can either tap on it or pull across the screen or swipe sorry so I go add new transaction and now I click sell all right so I'm selling it back on the Binance platform back to Bitcoin and let's say it's gone up so all I do here guys is enter the price that it is now worth in its Satoshi value which you will see on the exchange so let's say it's worth I don't know 500 sats now per coin I can either select, 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 sell all, sorry, or just enter a value of 25. Once again, adding it back to my BTC holdings and paying a transaction fee. I'll add that transaction. Happy days. So now you can see the B for buy, S for sell, bought 50, sold 25. And you can see here that I made a proceeds of $238 with a total all-time profit, as you can see where I'm pointing, guys, of 145 That is virtually the application, guys. Uh, it's not much harder than that. So hopefully you've enjoyed the video. Please, uh, as always, like and subscribe. And I'll be doing another one shortly on Blockfolio. Thanks.